if um, can you hear me at the back? Or okay, if you do, just if you can't, just gesticulate and I'll use the mic. Okay. Um, in the brief for this, it was um, how do you describe things you've got no experience of, and this is it's from an old book, but it was about as far from anything that we've actually experienced. I was trying to work into the story, as you'll see from the reading. Um, my heroes in the, the Larmouth books are Tevi, who's a warrior, and Jamerel, who's a sorcerer. And um, they've been separated for a while, and while they're apart, Tevi has a very confusing encounter with a dragon. And so after they meet up again, they're talking about it. And so. Tevi finished telling the story. So what game do you think Shard was playing? A half smile crossed Jamerel's face. There's a saying among sorcerers, Never try to second guess a dragon. <laughs> Tebby laughed. You certainly don't want to take chances with them. Shard could have destroyed the town. But there's more to it. Dragons don't experience time the same way we do. For them, time exists in two dimensions. Don't sorcerers do the same thing? Tebby asked. A bit, but not without going mad if they had the gift too strongly. Our minds can't deal with it. And dragons can. Jamero nodded. Does that mean dragons can predict the future? Sort of, but they don't see it like that. Jamero paused. The best analogy I can give is that humans see their lives like a book, with one page following the next. It's one-dimensional and linear. Dragons view their lives like a painting, in two dimensions. A dragon always knows everything it's ever going to know, but there's no point asking it about anything else. They're aware of their entire life simultaneously, except simultaneous as a concept that doesn't make sense from their viewpoint. Tevi pursed her lips, frowning. What are you thinking, Jamerel asked. I'm trying to work out if Shard would have made any more sense if I'd taken the conversation backwards. The first genuine laugh of the day burst from Jamerel. It, it doesn't work like that. But you're now a member of an exclusive group who've spoken with a dragon and lived to tell of it. Have you? Jamerel shook her head. Oh, no, I've never even seen one. <laughs> well, Shard was impressive to look at, but you haven't missed much in the talking. Even when Shard did make sense, it could be... Evil isn't the right word. It felt much less focused. Amoral, Jamerel suggested. Yeah, that's it. I was taught a dragon's time sense is incompatible with our ideas of good and evil. We think a bad act is one that has bad consequences. But for a dragon, effect doesn't follow cause. Everything is part of a fixed pattern. When humans kill, they see it as ending a life. When a dragon kills, for them, nothing has changed. In two-dimensional time, the victim is still a living, not yet born and already dead. Tevi looked thoughtful. It was her time to die. Pardon? That was the reason Shard gave for killing someone. Mm -hmm.